Right, I've just crossed the busy A38. I'm still on the Strawberry Line, the Cheddar Valley Railway Path, it's called there. And we are carry on this. It's a nice little walk, but we'll be uh, further up. We just pop in. There's a little tiny graveyard. I I don't really know anyone in there. I always have a quick pop in though. Uh, like I said, I've done this a lot on my bicycle. Of course, the good thing is I won't be having to walk back this because when I was uh, restricted with no one to six, I had to. Um, quite often walk back as well it was you know and that's I went up on the hills but it's a nice little path this is the strawberry line and like I said it's a little graveyard then there's a lovely little seat overlooking beautiful cross valley I call it cross valley it's um, the, the little hamlet of cross with its pub and um, I think it's called, it's named after someone, I don't know if it's called John's Bench, but the bench had a plaque put on it last year. I usually, I usually stop there for a minute because then I'm going to have to cross another dangerous road, which is a bypass of Axbridge. And I get up onto another part of the... I don't know if it is the old railway track, I'm not sure, but I get onto another path and pass through some allotments, or close by them. I just follow them, I'm just skirting Shoot Shelf Hill then for quite a while, until I get up towards the working quarry. Cheddar's main working quarry. There's a nice track. I've not tried the other side of it for a while, I must admit. I don't even know if it operates. Um, because they're still carving into the... They're still carving into the quarry a lot, so that might have disappeared. Um, but this other track doesn't, and I follow it. It's a beautiful, beautiful walk. But there's quite a bit of going up and downhill before I do that. Now, I had thought about doing the reservoir today. But I thought, no, not today. It's quite an exposed piece of area. And it's going to be... They reckon it could reach 26 degrees again. Now, if you're circumference in the... Uh, Axbridge and Cheddar Reservoir. Basically, you'll be right out in the open. Whereas the routes I'm taking will have trees and bushes all the way. Like I said, once I've done... There is a name to this hill, but I never know it. Once I've passed the old... Just another quarry, a disused one. And I might make my way up this track, which quite often has lots of cows. Now, when I was there a week ago, there were no cows about. And the fences were down, and it looked quite like they needed to do some work. Now, they might have done that by now, and let their cows out. But it's always a bit dodgy, because you literally have to more or less be in the same field as them. So, and then you get come to a gate. That, when I get to that gate... That's when I'll decide, and I'll look at the time, and I'll say, well, I think you should go down to Cheddarshill, or you can go on up around Piney Slides. I'm just going to play it by ear without having to rush. It gives me a choice coming to that lane, see? And this is a pleasant walk. It's a nice day for it. And because the kids are all at school and everyone's working, it's not busy yet. Now, you come out here tomorrow and Sunday... This would be jam-packed for people. So I do a lot of my walking in the week. I do sort of local walks for a couple of hours. Um, I've already thought about... Have I thought about what I'm doing tomorrow? Oh, I was thinking of doing a Hutton walk 
and um, going down this valley where there's lots of bluebells. That's right. But the buses are very, very infrequent. So I'd, I could only get a bus out and I'd have to walk back, at least to the hospital. Right then, we're just going up into the... Um, the seat will be up there, but we're just going to pop up to this little graveyard. I've often parked my bike here as well in the past. I really need a lighter bike now. The mountain bike is quite big and heavy for me to cart about. I've had, I had a lot of problems with it as well. Punches, chains going. I always like to have a little look round in here. Do you? Yeah. You never know what you're going to see, tell the truth. You never know, you might recognise somebody. It does happen. See, look, there's um, a Tom Adams there, born 46, died 2020. I might have met him once, who knows? Six years older than me. Yeah, a lot of people are passing on. That one there, that one, he was born the same year as me, look. Or is it 92? Oh no, a golden child. He, well, he died in 2019, but he might have um, not had the stone until now. He was tragically taken in 2019, age 27. Yeah, I do like to have a little wander around. Um, I always thought there was somebody in here I recognise. Um, somebody from Barrow, but I'm not sure if it is Eric. Um I'm not sure. But I always used to think it might have been her. We'll probably come across it in a minute. Yeah, Hazel. Hazel Jean Lane. 1928 to 2007. Um, oh, her husband was Kenneth Ernest Lane. It might not have been here, though. Um, no, her, her husband was... Um, God, what was he called? <sighs> he was a lane, though. I don't think he was called Ken. But it works out the age. It looks very similar, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm going to turn off now, folks. Here we have Woody's bench. I've sat here and had a picnic before. Stopped with my bike loads of times. It didn't always have that plaque on it, so maybe he died... They've got Brent Knoll over there, and here you've got the Hamlet of Cross over there with the pub. The A38 going all the way down to Burnham and that. And uh, we're following on, we're carrying on the strawberry line. And we'll be crossing over a dangerous road in a minute. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I think what's good about the mountain bike is the fact that it did have quite strong tyres. It was sturdy, but it's quite a heavy bike. I don't really want to part with it, really. I've had it for a long time now. I've had it for... Well, it seems a long time. It's only 14 years. And for six of those years, when I didn't have Alberta, from 2010 to, no, for, to 2014, it was my main means of transport. And I hadn't really ridden a bike for years, but I got everywhere on that bike. 
everywhere, all the way up to Bristol, all around the villages going to Bristol. I went on trains, I did all around the villages of Somerset, this side of Glastonbury. I did cycle as far as Glastonbury on occasions and do the shape at Shapwick Nature Reserves. I did it a couple of years ago and Joint nearly killed me. I was much fitter, you see. Much fitter. But isn't this a gorgeous place? Very gorgeous. Anyway, what I'm going to do now, come to the end of this section, and the strawberry line, I'm here, would in theory, would carry on down to Cheddar, bypassing the reservoir. Okay? That's the way down. You can, and I walk down that way sometimes as well, and walk back it. But here's a busy road I got across. It's the A370, actually, that one. It joins the A38. I have to go along a bit until I find my space where I cross. So I'm going to turn off for a minute. Right. So I only missed a small section as I came through a gate up back there. Um, I was just pointing out that we're passing some allotments. I didn't put it, I put it on standby. I didn't actually put it on um, movie. So there's about five minutes only, didn't come out. I'm always doing it. I forget, I press one button, forget to press the second one. So one's on standby. And this, I was just saying, I, it's nice for people to be able to come out here and do their keep their allotments in that you know be able to grow a bit of their own veg we used to have an allotment when we lived in Reading we had an allotment for a while but it was it had that terrible strangling weed we just couldn't get rid of it I think we grew a few things plus some broad beans I think was the only thing that survived there is another way out here, but the thing is you have got, you'll end up on the road for a short period. I tend to go up there. I really don't want to walk along that road. Even if there was a path, it's a horrible, dangerous, fast road. But so here we are, we're near Axbridge. I've just um, taken, I don't think it turned out on the camera. I just uh, pointed out some views of Axbridge Reservoir back there on the, video that hasn't that I wasn't doing uh, but I took some photos I took some photos of the reservoir and um, but that was on the video that I thought was videoing and it wasn't it was on standby I, I, I should always check the red button when I do it so annoying Fortunately, I'd only done about five minutes, but you can capture a lot in five minutes. But anyway, what we're doing, we're skirting the base of Shoot Shelf Hill. I've already gave a, quite a detailed description earlier. We will have a hill to do. I've had a banana, a Kit Kat and a drink of water at the moment. Might give me indigestion, might not. Can't always tell. Um, anyway, what were you saying? Um, yeah, we've got a little hill to do in a minute. Well, it does go on for a while. But uh, once you get up there, it's a lovely seat with gorgeous views on Shoot Shelf Hill. So we can pass through a little hamlet here at Axbridge. And, um... That's a sort of car I could do with a little car like that. That would really suit me, that. Never had really seen it for sale, though. Though there was something in Winscombe. Keep me in the phone. Right, so there's a little hamlet on the hill. Above Axbridge. And with gorgeous views. As well. I'll just take a picture. I'll take a picture here. 
Lovely views. Yeah, yeah, it's a lovely quiet little walk this is. It's not that well publicised, but there again, I don't know, you might get herds of people out here. They always look so lovely, don't they, these little daisy plants clinging to the wall. They've got lovely weather. South facing. Beautiful, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Be little daisy flowers. Oh, wisteria. That's what I had at my home. I had wisteria and honeysuckle. Yeah, I do miss having all that. You did have a home with a garden once. Yeah, I did experience that. It was lovely. Not to worry. Like you say, I can't have everything. can't have it all the time and it can be taken away from you. That's what I've learned very early in life. When things are taken from you, like my dad, then what well, he wasn't killed, he just, marriage broke. Then um, my mum died when I was 14. Various relationships all crashed. And uh, basically, it's still crashing times. Anyway, that's enough of that, Sheila. Right, folks, it's um, carrying along this little track, passing a little hamlet of really nice, big, rich people's homes. Um, and this lovely flowers I've been taking pictures en route. It's a beautiful flower. Look at that one. It's like a cross between a pansy and some other thing, isn't it? Really gorgeous. I've taken some photos. Gorgeous flowers, and then this beautiful view from here. You can see why rich people come out. They don't live there like we, like I do, do they? Look at that. I can see Glastonbury Tor once again with the naked eye in the distance. Nylon Mound next to it, and there's the the river axe, which I had thought of walking round, but I've decided to not to do it today. I'm not going to do it today. There's another walk I want to do today. It will get done. Yeah, it will get done. There's various ways down. If you want to go down to Axbridge now, there's, um, say you want to go down to the village of Axbridge, go down there, okay? That take you, you've still got to cross that awful road, but that's a way down, take you down near the church. I think the church is through there. I can just see the church spire above some trees there. I don't know if it'll come out or not. I can just see that. Lots of roads. There's a road there I've never thought of. Where's that go? I wonder. I reckon I've been along that. Do you? I reckon. Lots of things to explore, really, if you came to Axbridge alone, isn't there? I wonder where that goes. No buses over that way, see? Isn't there? No. 